One, two, three. My message for, you know, those aspiring to, you know, create or just be within their purpose or passion or what God has called them to do is to just move. My name is Eze Ganobe. Um, I am a photographer, videographer from Los Angeles, California. On a Tuesday. So I primarily do wedding videography, photography. Um, outside of that, like events, portraits, grad shoots. Um, I would say like fashion photography, uh, fashion visuals with different like, models, um, different brands. Um, Concerts as well. Uh, most recently, last year, Rolling Loud. So I'm Nigerian American, and um, a lot of the characteristics and traits that were instilled from my parents, um, I believe, has what led to how my business has been doing. Characteristics of self-discipline, perseverance, overcoming obstacles, um, staying focused and always pushing to be better and do better. I believe that the self-discipline became a key factor once I graduated from college um, because I was so used to being on a very set schedule and having so many things going on at once um, that I was actually more, I would say even more focused during that time when it came to the photography and, and video, even though I had a bunch of other things going on. And so I had to kind of get used to being in a space where I create my own schedule, um, where I have the whole day and I have to really hone in and be self-disciplined um, because there were times where, you know, I wasn't performing at my best or I wasn't getting things done at the time that I was used to um, or as efficiently as I was used to. So always just, um, that self-discipline really played a role, you know, once I came out of school. I feel like these little things would look good in like the background. I think a common theme of my artwork is black empowerment. It's just essential that to showcase um, us in a positive light. You know, especially when I was at um, Cal State Fullerton, my uh, alma mater, that's when I really kind of honed in on just trying to uplift our people as a whole and showcase that, showcase the different things happening on campus because we had a small percentage of black students on campus, only like two, less than 2% uh, made up the campus. But I wanted, to, I wanted it to feel, at least from a social media and web perspective, that it was more than that. Do you think that your art would have become more, more important, would you say, especially in a time like now, 2020? Um, I would say yes. I feel like with a lot of the things going on, especially with police brutality, just how, you know, we've been treated over, over these years, you know, I feel like it's always more necessary to put that out there. It's always more necessary to uh, positively uplift our people because we have to deal with all different types of emotional trauma and damage from years in the past uh, to current to currently now in 2020. Um, and not just, you know, within our, our mental space, but just within like the, the idea of the same trauma and things that have been going on plus COVID and like all these things happening in the world, natural disasters, it's like, it's just like a, a avalanche of different um, obstacles that's hitting our people and the world. And so I feel like now more than ever, it's, it's essential, you know, to, to put out positive work, to put out good work, to put out work that stands for something. 
Okay, so this is camera lineup. Um, so this is the main, this is what I've shot all my videos on. So any video you've ever seen me do, shot with this little JVC uh, flip camera, came out in the 90s. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but this is a, it's a handy cam. Um, definitely for like that, kind of like that 90s vibe look. Right here is the OG, the original. Um, this is my favorite camera, my top camera, the Canon 5D Mark III. Um, use it for everything, the photos and videos. Um, if I could recommend any camera to anyone, it would be this one. Well, up until this day, actually, uh, all the photos and videos, uh, a good amount of videos with this. Dear dark skinned black girl, I realize that the color of our skin will forever affect the way we are viewed and treated in society. Our dark ebony skin is a determinant of our value and a determinant of our beauty to society, not to me. I know now that I am beautiful, but I did not know that growing up. What I love most about being Nigerian is the Nigerian community. You know, it's a plethora of Nigerians in SoCal um, and all over the world. Um, and there's just a vibe when it comes to Nigerians. We're very, as a people, we're very self-driven, self-motivated, and we're always pushing to be the best. And I feel like that's why a lot of Nigerians are so successful, because we always push to be the best. We always push to, you know, keep breaking down barriers no matter what's going on. At least from my understanding, majority of Nigerians um, have some type of spiritual connection with God. So I feel like that's also a good thing when I'm able to create with other photographers and videographers that have, have a, a faith-based value system. Faith is key. Having a relationship with God, having a personal relationship with God is essential. Without it, you can really become lost in a lot of the things of the world. You can become lost in your, in your, your purpose and you know, the pathway that God has set out for you. So it's been, it's been something that's just major as far as just like really building um, and committing to a strong relationship with God. Um, it's not easy, you know, from firsthand experience, it's not easy. Um, I think, especially in the creative space, there's a lot that's going on all the time. Um, and there's a lot of people that you meet and some things can be disguised as other things. So you really have to be very cautious in a sense. Follow the camera. Love it. God has called me to be a provider. And so working towards some type of whether it be a, a, a studio or like a, a business plan or whatnot, but something that is giving back to, to the community, giving back to those that paved the way for me, um, helping people I don't even know, you know, in some way, because honestly, it's just like, we only live this one life, you know? And it's like, you can be super successful, but it's like, what, what do you have to show for it? James 4, 4, you can't really like love the world and like God too. It's like two different, it's like two different things. Uh, like, so idea behind that, behind James 4, 4 is that as one continues to elevate, you know, in whatever space that God has called them to be in, to just continue to, to praise God and to not like, to not forget pretty much not forget where you came from. In a sense, like don't, don't forget where you were when you were low. Don't forget where you were when, when you were just starting off, when you didn't have anything. My message for, you know, those aspiring to, you know, create or just be within their purpose or passion or what God has called them to do is to just move keep going you know if God has called you to excel at something work towards it 
and I promise you, you won't have to worry about all of the other things. Like um, there's going to be days where you don't feel like it. There's going to be days where you might, where you might fall back into, um, you know, bad habits or habits that you have tried to let go in the past or, you know, things that have um, like friendships or relationships or all, all those things come to play family. Um, it's not easy. Like, it's, it's not easy, but nothing, nothing good ever comes easy. You know, there's going to be obstacles. So it's like expect the obstacles. There's no essential end goal, but there's, there's so much power and pleasure in the process versus the actual results, you know? So really take pleasure in the process, really be grateful for the opportunities, for the obstacles, and for everything that, you know, comes your way. And um, I think lastly is faith, family, fitness, and finance. Um, I feel like all of those four things together will kind of just will, will set you up as far as just being able to be your best and, and do your best. Um, but that number one, faith, and trust me, it's all you need.